Hi guys, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and this what you see is my mod for my tachometer. Now, the tachometers that are available in the market usually come with two AAA batteries which drain really fast because of the laser pointer installed in the tachometer. So to prevent that or to tackle that situation, I constructed this device or modified it into a rechargeable one by using two 2000 mAh lithium ion batteries. And now it works really well as you can see and the batteries drain in around 5 or 6 months or so and when they do I can easily recharge it. And guys this what you see is a motor alternator set and this motor is going to be driven by that speed controller box. This is the back side of the car alternator and the small and thin red and blue wires that you see those are for exciting the rotor winding of the car alternator by connecting a 12 volts battery and to the left of it is a custom made three phase rectifier since the original rectifier broke link for its construction video will be provided in the description you can check it out that's the battery i'm going to use for the excitation of rotor winding of the car alternator and guys there's one thing i forgot to tell you full output of the car alternator will appear on these two terminals red and black so guys now it's time to connect this 12 volts ups battery and these two jumper cables to the rotor winding terminals of this alternator okay red will be connected to red and blue is going to be the negative although polarity does not matter here and you see the connection has been successfully made so guys before starting the machine let's point the meter towards voltage measurement mode and connect the pins and the pin outs to the output terminals of the alternator so meter terminals have been successfully connected so guys you can see that the tachometer is fully set and the meter at present is pointing zero volts so let's connect the battery terminals to the rotor winding and start the test okay so first let's turn on the motor and the laser pointer so guys here as you can see that i'm getting here around 1300 rpm and the voltage is around 1.5 volts and uh, uh, it is happening something with my hand so anyways that is just uh, the ripple effect okay so anyways i have not connected this terminal from the rotor winding to the battery to activate the rotor so let's do that and check the change in rpm and also see if it reaches 12 volts or more or less You can see that the RPM has reduced to 1000 and the voltage is around 11.45. So we will have to increase the RPM a little bit. So I'm going to do it from here. That's the knob. Let's keep this connected. And here we are getting around 11.7 volts at 1200 RPM. Although fluctuating a lot increasing it a little bit and the voltage is also increasing yeah so 1300 rpm yeah 1300 rpm is at what the alternator is producing exact 12 volts dc okay so that's all for today's video guys let's turn off the setup first removing this terminal and you can see as soon as I remove the terminal, the speed increased because when the electromagnet gets excited, the RPM reduces because this motor gets loaded. So it takes little more power from the source to compensate for the lost RPM.